Hello, my name is Simon Swift and I'm a lecturer in critical and cultural theory at the School of English in the University of Leeds. And the title of this podcast is The Canon, How to Read Beyond Set Texts. So you've been set a series of books to read at A-level and one of the big differences between A-level study and study at degree level is the amount of time that is given to each set text. That's to say, I remember back to my A-level and we took an entire term to read two books. Whereas at university, you might be reading two books in a week. So one of the great challenges to studying at degree level is working out how to develop ideas about these set texts when you're reading them so quickly. Fortunately, this isn't a problem that you have to worry about, at least for the time being. But it does mean that you have time to read more widely, to read more extensively around the set texts. And this is something that I think it's really worthwhile to be doing. The more well-read you are, the wider a sense of context you can give to the set texts that you're studying, the more intelligently and confidently you'll be able to speak about them in an exam situation. But how to set about reading beyond these set texts? How to set about reading beyond the canon? I've got two hints that I want to make in the podcast about this. and I'll outline them both very briefly and then go into more depth with the second one. Both of these points are connected though. The first thing to think about, and this is something that I learned at A-level, is to think about how canonical authors the authors of your set texts, have influenced later authors and even filmmakers. So, for example, there was a novel published in 1966 by an author from the Caribbean called The Wide Sargasso Sea. And the novel is by Jean Rhys. 